Tom here from Orange Systems, and I have a, another USB portable monitor. And this is kind of a, I don't know, something I started on a few months ago when I said, you know, I want to be able to work from home and then have a second monitor pretty easily. This is my ThinkPad L480. It has two USB-Cs out that both support video. So technically I can actually hook up two monitors to it and use the display as well. But I was trying to figure out which one to buy. And the search was a little bit weird because, okay, do I buy one of these off-brand ones that looks like one that I'm very familiar with, like a brand name, or do I just save a hundred bucks and go with one of these? Well, at the time, the prices may vary. I don't know when you're watching this video, so the price may or may not be a hundred dollars different between a brand name you're familiar with and a brand name you're not such as the Zeus one here. Now, full disclosure and read my ethics policy if you're curious about more details, but yes, these were all, all the ones I reviewed sent to me by the companies to review. And I did the review, a Lee Powell versus AUZAI Azua. I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying that right, but I did a review of those. And I did a review of each of them by themselves, well, the Azua by itself. And I was comparing the different, you know, colors and everything on the screen. And they were maybe slightly different. But when it comes to this one and the Azua, the Sisus and the Azua, they're identical. So I'm not going to bother reviewing the screen itself because refer back to my Azua review. I can't tell the difference between them. They have the same menus, they have the same hookups, they have the same plugins. The only difference between them is, and really it's not the price either. So this has this little kick out on the back, a little clamshell like that. So this just kind of sits and stands like this and there's no anything else in the box. Uh, I mean, it has the cables as stated. So what's under Amazon description was accurate. It comes with some cables uh, to plug it in, a USB-C to USB-C, a mini HDMI. I have a little you know, wipe off the fingerprints, which is actually really happy they put that in there. And the reason why is because, well, fingerprints, but there's no screen protector in here. And I bring that up because when you say portable display, how do I make it portable? I mean, it's a thin display, it's nice and small, but it's not portable in the way of how do I port make it portable? So when you, in order to get the fingerprints on it, so I'll wipe them off just from all the touching of it. I like the thin bezels, but it gives you very little place to uh, grab onto. And let me show you me compare it to this. So when you have this one here, this is the identical in every way, except for does not kick out at the bottom. This is just flat on the bottom. Let me flip this over. Actually, I, cause I complained about this before and I never did put glue on this. I've been using it and I've been using that one for a few weeks as well, or about a week and a half, I think on that one. So this one uses the folio style. So it kicks out there. Now the only downside is with the little folio thing is now you have a little lip here, which I don't think is really a big deal. It gives you a couple different options for viewing angle, whichever makes you happy. Uh, they both have the same matte screen. So they're you know, not too glossy. I'm, I'm got studio lights on. So if I catch the studio lights, you'll see they're not even direct reflecting. They're mostly kind of a dull reflection there. So they're not the, the matte finish on the screen holds up well, and they're both really thin, but obviously carrying this around like this, I would touch it and get fingerprints. So you flip the folio over and away you go. This one here, no such luck. As a matter of fact, my wife, every time she's used it has absolutely put fingers all over the screen. Every time she just goes to open it because that's what she does when she opens it and moves it off the table and closes it. So I am not as uh, keen on this. Now, display wise, everything else, like I said, they're the same. So there's not much to talk about there. The only minor difference is this probably has a newer firmware on it because the other one had an odd problem. Ever. Every time you powered it on, you had to adjust the brightness setting to get it right. So uh, this one doesn't have that problem. So bonus there. Now it still supports the other features such as being able to pass power through right to the USB-C. I've hooked it up. Like I said, I'm not gonna demo the display because it's uh, the same, but I've hooked it up in both ports. Both ports work. So everything else in terms of all the other functionality is there. Now, the way they did the little bracket on the back, I was gonna try and take it apart until I realized it's also glued together like the other ones are. So there's not any screws. I was kinda of curious about the mechanism inside, but I will admit they do the hinges uh, kind of like piano style where they're longer, not thin hinges. So much like a laptop that's got some really good resistance and really solid feeling hinges. I've only had it a week, so I can't, don't take that as a long-term review. So I'll, I will keep using it cause it's convenient, but it's just a standard by looking at it. It's a very standardized laptop 
display cable in there. So it seems to be that it probably will last a while based on its design because it's like pretty traditional looking laptop cable going through there, but I don't really know. And it does make me a little bit nervous buying one like this because, uh, well, with that kick out and the flex right there, will that be a problem in the future if you fold and close it a lot? The bigger issue really is I like to put these and throw them in my laptop bag. So throwing this in my laptop bag, no problem. I just take this, yeah, flip the folio around like this. I can't scuff the screen. I can slide it across the table. I can just set it over there. I can slide it into my laptop bag. This doesn't come with anything. It was in just this little sleeve that they shipped with it, which is nice. I mean, the screen came well protected with styrofoam, but that kind of makes it to me less portable and more of a cool thing to leave on your desk next to your laptop. And that's what I do at home is just leave this plugged into the wall. I leave the cord plugged into the wall and a USB-C cable. And then I plug the USB-C to my laptop. It both powers my laptop and turns the screen on. So I find it a workable solution. But if really, if I had my choice, uh, if I were going to, and this is my advice, if you're looking between like the Li Pao one or this one here, um, the Azua one that I'm, I think that's how you say it, Azua or Awaza, um, and the Zisus, this is still the better purchase right here because it was the same price between the two of them. Yeah, the Azua one is only $185.99 versus $179.99. I mean, you get the folio and you get all the same features. They're, like I said, I cannot tell the difference between a screen side by side. They look as identical as possible. So if you're looking for one of these, I have been really happy. And like I said, I've had this one for a little while and I use it pretty much daily until I've been using this one for the last week. They both seem perfectly functional, perfectly fine. The display colors are good. They're not gonna be professional grade. And I don't have one of the brand name ones. Unfortunately, I haven't bought one to see if there's any difference at them. But for what I'm doing, and I'm not like a professional photographer where I'm trying to do perfect color matching for that, you always want a higher quality screen and you're probably not trying to uh, do something portable. But for something that fits in your laptop bag, these are great, which is my laptop bag. We'll just put this in here and we'll put this in here. They both fit. And now I have a nice dual screen. I can feel productive with two screens set up that actually still zips. I'm still scared to put this one in there so I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch the screen. So um, there's my review of it. And uh, they, they said I could keep it. As I said in the video in the beginning, they sent these out to me. Um, they told us we can keep them. Refer to my ethics video if you think my review is biased uh, by them sending me it. Um, but I don't think this is a particularly wonderful monitor though because of the lack of any type of covering or options on it. But uh, display wise, if you just want something that looks good, I can't tell the difference between screen quality. All right, thanks. I'll leave links to these below in my other reviews. All right. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.